Hello everyone, my name is Imtiaz Ahmad from JobReadyProgrammer.com where I teach over 100,000 students software development. I want to talk to you today about a topic that I received in an email. Uh, it was an older gentleman, about the age of 60, and he was uh, worried about losing his job. There was some restructuring going on and they were thinking of uh, replacing his role. And so this video is dedicated to the aging software developer. Now we're all getting older, we're all aging, but uh, every software engineer is going to uh, come to a crossroad in their career at some point, maybe around the age of 30, maybe 35, where they kind of have to choose what they're going to do for the next 20 years. And so people that are technical minded might want to stay in the technical path, uh, whereas people that are more business oriented might choose to climb the corporate ladder and uh, you know uh, deal with hiring, firing, uh, managing projects, budgeting. Uh, and team building and that sort of thing, whereas the engineer might just be concerned with uh, taking technical roles such as a lead developer, managing a small team of developers, architecting applications and so on. So it really depends on what you enjoy. Uh, so I've seen very successful engineers transition into uh, a manager role and they do an excellent job. They follow the corporate ladder and they become executives and then CTOs and so on. Uh, whereas, uh, you know, there's others that make that transition and they have to switch back into the technical space. It's good to try both. But I just want to tell you that if you're of the technical minded type and just like I am, I love to develop code and you want to keep your job in at the age of 50, 60, even 70, there are a couple of things that you need to do. Uh, and one of them is keep up with the trends, all right? Learn new technologies because you are actually perfectly positioned to pick up a brand new technology and get really high paying uh, salaries for that uh, new up and coming domain, right? So, you know, for example, if you were to pick cryptocurrency and learn Solidity, um, it, that would be easy for, for a developer that have been developing applications in, for example, C++ for the past 20 years. Right? You might be working in fintech and you can just very quickly switch over to cryptocurrencies. You already understand the, the basics of finance. Uh, this is another domain that's also in finance, but it's an upcoming domain. So you might want to focus on that. Or if you're in game development, you might switch over to virtual reality, which is still an up and coming field. Uh, so these are certain decisions that you're going to have to make. But my advice to the aging developer that's you know, uh, 60 plus and you, you know, you'd like to keep your job for the next 10 years, you enjoy what you do, you love to develop, you're in the perfect position to pick up a new technology and switch your job and get paid really, really well. Okay. Whereas the new kid on the block that just graduated college or maybe has two to three years of experience is still so busy building his programming and, you know, software development repertoire, you know, they're, they're worried about how to construct an application so that it's modular, extensible, and so that it can be, you know, uh, easily, um, you know, the, the modules can be added to it. You know, they're so worried about design, whereas you, having developed applications for 30 plus years, already have that in the back of your mind. You approach a problem with that in place already, and it's at the finger tip of your thing, uh, fingertips. You don't even think about uh, all of the effort about how to design the application, right? Because you've been doing so many applications and you've designed them and you've learned from the mistakes that you've made in the past. And so you're in a perfect position to pick up a new technology, new programming language, learn it from scratch and just really quickly implement it. And uh, software design principles don't really change. Uh, there, there are certain things between different languages, but that's really uh, learning about where to use a nail versus a stapler. Uh, whereas the design principles are always going to be the same, whether it's a functional programming language. If you have functional programming experience, it's a new programming language. You're going to follow the same programming techniques. Uh, if you have the object orientation background then any other new object oriented programming language will be easy for you to pick up and, you know, implement in your, uh, in your, in your job. And so don't worry if you're 60 plus, your career is not over. Don't think about it like that. Uh, I have great respect for people that are, you know, that have been developing software for 30 plus years. I've seen some really, really serious engineers. I have a great appreciation for them and I've had the opportunity to manage people that are in their 60s that love software development and are, and are awesome at it, okay? And I've also seen software developers that have 30 plus years of experience just stuck in one domain, right? They've been maybe programming in Perl for their whole life, 
all right? And those guys are easily re replaceable. So you wanna make sure that you don't fall in that path. And let's say that you are, let's say you've been developing in C++ your whole life and your job is now at risk for whatever reason. Then I would suggest pick a domain. Like let's say if, you know, if, if you're in FinTech, uh, you might want to switch over to cryptocurrencies. It's a new up and coming uh, trend within the finance space. So you can still remain in the domain. You know C++, you might as well learn Solidity with Ethereum contracts. Or if you're in web dev, you can maybe pick up something like Vue.js. It's a new framework for developing you know, web apps. And just add that to your repertoire and switch your job and get uh, a, a reasonably good salary. So uh, these are just uh, some of the things to keep in mind if you choose to stay technical. Uh, you just have to keep learning and advancing in the technical realm of things. Uh, don't get too comfortable. And I say that to any software developer, regardless of the age, we have to continue to develop code. We have to continue to practice if we want to remain technical. If you want to switch uh, and go to the other side, which is a management side, deal with budgeting, corporating, uh, corporate ladder, and you know, dealing with uh, hiring and firing and, and just uh, make executive level decisions, then that's a totally different thing that you'll have to start studying early in your career if that's your goal. Let's say you're, you're 30 and you'd like to be a CTO one day, uh, you might wanna you know, pick up some management books and start learning that alongside uh, your technical uh, learning. So uh, hopefully this was helpful. If you liked what I had to say, make sure to like the video, subscribe to this channel, uh, make sure to hit the notification icon and I'll keep you posted with new videos. Thanks for watching.